Time is short, so I'll get to the point. The fleet's in trouble. It's coming down to a game of numbers, and the Kilrothi's getting the upper hand. Not much more to say beyond that. We need something fast to buy time, and HQ has several diversionary ops that will split the Kilrathi's attention elsewhere from our main forces. Our objective is Freya 2, the planet closest to our jump point to Kilroth. Previous strikes have taken out the shield generator, but there's still a Kilrathi base and contingent on the planet. Admiral Merkin is about to take a bold step to take and occupy the planet. This would give us space superiority over the jump point, which leads straight to Kilroth. As of now, this is a marine operation involving the 1st and 5th Marine Divisions. The Hermes will provide air support and general overwatch. Our Marines will drop here at these regions and take the planet. Our intel analysts said that this will definitely divert the Kilrathi's attention because they know that if we occupy the planet, we can lob missiles, pot shots, everything, including the kitchen sink, each time they jump in reinforcement. The Marines will be digging in deep, and we can expect the Kilrathi bombardment to be just as brutal as what they did at Bukhar Tak. Several wings from our unit have already launched, and they are busy running interference for us as we speak. Alpha Wing, me, Sandman, Twilight, and Grey Wolf will support the Hermes. We will take off from the Hermes and rendezvous with the troop convoy at NAV-1. We will then escort the landing craft to the planet at NAV-2, where we will drop into the atmosphere at this entry point. Once we enter the atmosphere, we will take up overwatch position high above the planet and cover the other assault waves as they come in. We will loiter until the area is secured. Once that's done, we will get back into space and return to the Hermes. Our time is running short, but we'll get this done. You launch in 15 minutes. Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Saga. My name is Burning Earth Chris, and this is the last episode of the, of the Let's Play series. Um, so first off, I want to say thank you guys to everybody who's been watching, liking, commenting, subbing, offering me insight to what I could do better, so thank you guys for helping out with that. So, we are going to finish Wing Commander Saga in this episode. So, alright. Escort the landing craft to the planet, then take up overwatch position above the planet to cover the other assault waves. Let's rock. Alpha Wing, you are clear to launch. Alpha Wing, good luck. The orbital bombardment is currently underway. Check in with your convoy's flagship, the Assault Transport Lewis B. Puller. Any word on Bravo and Charlie Wings? Heavily engaged. By all accounts, they're doing well. As they should. Out. Ah, uh, entering a planet in combat condition. Just sit there and pray you don't burn up on re-entry while the flight control system hopefully compensates for the atmosphere, barometric pressure, and all those little minute details. Hey, Sandman? <laughs> I've flown in an atmosphere before. I don't think it's such a big deal. Don't get cocky, kid, just because you're in an Excalibur now. I remember when you were in diapers and training wheels. <laughs> don't worry, he still is. Hey! <laughs> Good luck down there. <laughs> okay, let's move, people. Proceed to next waypoint. We really have come a long way, haven't we, folks? Sometimes I wonder if we're even playing the same game anymore, but... I mean, I know we are, it's just... Fuller control checking in from the Hermes. We're fast movers. Good to see you. The first wave of dropships are launched. You guys are going in with them. Switch to their frequency 45 Alpha Charlie Papa. Switching 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Alpha 1. This is the captain. All personnel prepare to drop second wave in five minutes. Chaos 1 to Marines. We are the first wave. More cats for us to kill. You smash that entire area and dig in. You kill anything that has fur, you get me? Isn't that... The Commandant, leading from the front. Hmm. Well, looks like the stories about him are true. Fighters, this is Chaos One. Your job, and only job, is to support my Marines. Everything else is secondary. Chaos One out. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, who do I establish the autopilot link with? Um, 
<laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Let's go. All right, fighters Head inbound. Well, at least there are no bombers. Yet. Whoops. Got one on your six. Watch it. Nice. He's down. Okay, that missed. <laughs> Nice. More fighters coming in. Yeah, got him. Uh -oh, some of the transports were taking some damage. I wonder why. with my transports, will you? Not today, cat. There we go. Whoa. 
More fighters. He's done. Whoa. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Nice. Oh, they're hyped up. Adam, we've got visual on the drop ships. They're ours now. Appreciate it. Excaliburs, we're a minute out. Sending you coordinates to the LZ. And I want plenty of covering fire all the way. Ninja, those Karathi plasma batteries. Who clicks north of that crater? Take them out. That's it. We hit the LZ. Anything within five clicks of it, die. See, we've got the easy job. We just stay up here and shoot down Kilrathi fighters. <laughs> speaking of which... Yeah, speaking of which, I'm picking up targets. Looks like jet interceptors. Atmospheric type. Ecopsy fighters. Groovy. Well, let's take them out. Oh man. Okay. It does get a little difficult to see your HUD elements in the atmosphere. But you can always go into the options menu and adjust them to a different color to make sure that if they're easy to read. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just throwing that out there. Where you at? Yes! Having a little trouble there? Oh, okay, never mind.
is he at? Oh, is that him? Oh, there he is. Okay. Like I said, a little difficult to see where I'm going here. That was awesome. Thank you. Bye. Ah, I might have missed this already. Damn it. Ah, well. I still got guns. Calm down, man. I'm your plot critical. It's okay. You're gonna be okay, buddy. See? <laughs> All clear. Set coordinates to the next patrol point. Proceed to next waypoint. And off we go. Wonder how much ven damage Venom actually has. Viking? Got it. Heads up, people. We have unfriendlies inbound. Somehow I get the feeling they're not here for catnip. Let's get them. Nice. That was a good kill. Bye. Stop firing missiles at me. Seriously, it's annoying. Thank you. Where are they? Also, I do apologize for the, um, J.J. Abrams lens flare there. <laughs> All right, good. Oh crap! Assassin just took a missile. Hey, buddy, can you read me? Are you okay? Uh oh. The assassin, what's the matter? Are you deaf? Storms must be out. Get closer for hand signal. Getting 
closer. There's no smoke. Slight damage. And from what I can see, yeah. He's currently flipping me the bird, so <laughs> I guess that means he's okay. <laughs> Next wave is coming in, Major! Stand by! Bandit! 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 Coming in from space! Their IFF code, they could be drop eye. Must be those friends failing to us about. Ah, oh, wonderful. Play my last message. Uh, apparently, they're all drop eye. Tools, every single one of them. They're like a pack of jealous ex girlfriends. They just don't know when to let go. <laughs> <laughs> Was that an avatar joke by Venom? <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Uh. Where are you at? There. Uh. Right. Whew, okay. And I guess too. Anyone can assist, please do so. Everybody's taking damage. I think I'm the only one who isn't taking damage. <laughs> what was that? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. I'm almost out of fuel. Shit. He's the last one. Yeah, he looks like he's the last one. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one before. Yep. More fighters coming in. Both space and ground. They're acting a lot more aggressive, a lot more reckless, a lot more pissed off. Excellent choice of words, young one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, full power to guns. Here we go. Yeah, you see that now. Uh, oh. Oops. Oh, shit. No thanks. Uh, there you are. Good, he's down. Yeah, this mission can get a little long. About 20 minutes in. 21 minutes in. <sighs> Alright. Oh no. Oh, it's 
Roger that. This one's for the Valkyries. Oh, by the way, 57 kills so far. That's uh, really fucking good. <laughs> Come on, Utak. Let's go. Okay. Where are you at? I'm a human. We have fingernails, not claws. Well, I guess human. I guess fingernails are considered claws, aren't they? Uh-oh. Alright, Death Fang's cloaked. Again. Awesome. Well, that takes care of the cremation. <laughs> Excalibur, a new wave of my marines and a fresh squadron of fighters have entered the area. You are relieved of duty. Roger that, Chaos One. Viking, you get that? Got it. We'll be a few minutes behind you all the way. 
Bravo wing, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. Return to base. Okay, guys and gals, set the autopilot. Let the computer do the rest. Roger Let's that. Rest in peace, Death Fang, you stupid son of a bitch. And I'm so glad we got to avenge the Valkyrie Squadron. Computer configured back to zero G flight. Thanks for all the assistance down there. We got the LZ secured and we're dropping in more troops. The place will be totally under our control within the hour. We've I captured a command post. Command it. He wants to say something to all of you. Hoorah, Colonel! And bravo Zulu to the Galahad Squadron! It's people like you that make me want to apologize for all the bad things I've said about Flyboys. You uh, really pulled through for us today. You hung really tough. As tough as my devil dogs. And more. Marine Corps will never forget what you did today. Till next time, God bless and Semper Fi. Ura, Yut Yut, Devil Dog, Marine Corps, Semper Fi. Do Jarheads have any other words in their vocabulary? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, Twilight. The man was trying to give us a compliment. All crap, autopilot activate. Proceed to next waypoint. Ooh, more kitty litter. I'm hot today. Return to formation. Roger that, Colonel. In four. Roger that, Colonel. Maintain radio silence. Colonel, I'm picking up some Terran radio comms, not picking up any other IFF codes in the area. Probably electronic interference due to us being near the planet, so we're bound to have intermittent contacts. I wouldn't worry about it. Proceed to next waypoint. <laughs> Tell me, Wing Commander fanboys, did that get you nostalgic? I hope it did. <laughs> Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Galahad Squadron, the Admiral has something to say to you. Stand by. Uh oh. Galahads, Marines have taken the planet and are digging in. We also have reports from the other fleets. The Rathi eased up on their attacks, giving us enough time to regroup. Oh. Good job, all. Thank you. Don't say that just yet, Admiral. Kilrathi are going to realize what just happened, and that they still hold the advantage in numbers. Then we'll really be in for it. No matter what happens, we did our job. We'll plan as we go. Get them home, sweetie. Galahad, landing clearance is in progress. Stand by. Okay, I love to hear you guys talk and all, but we need to be ready when the Kilrads come back. They're gonna see our fleet's retreat and magically come to the conclusion that we're vulnerable. We did more to the Kilrathi than they did to us. That's all I need. <laughs> hey, Assassin fixed his radio. Welcome back, buddy. Shut up. You just pretended to be deaf so I didn't have to listen to you over the comms. <laughs> uh, come on. We all know about those Better Homes and Gardens magazines you've been stowing in your flight bag. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you afraid of cracking one of those things open and reading and reading out of the country? <laughs> I'd like to see you try that. <laughs> there should be plenty of cats to go around for all of us. Oh. Blank, you okay? Oh, right arm's hurt like hell. I'm controlling the stick now with my left. And Avatar says something totally sexist. Hey, Felix, looks like you won't be smacking the monkey anytime soon. Shut, Shut up, up Avatar. Avatar. I say let the cats come. Hey, we vented Death Fang, right? Yeah, that scumbag. We can take on anything. You're all still under the combat high. Just keep it under control. You want to use it, no problem. Just don't let it use you. Galahad Squadron, you're first in the shoot to landing. Yes, ma'am. First off, congratulations on Deathfang. He has been a thorn in our side for far too long, and eliminating him is a considerable victory. With all we have lost today, we need to allow ourselves a few moments to appreciate our accomplishment. We have one less Kilrathi ace to worry about and many brave Confederation pilots have been avenged. However, a few moments to enjoy this victory are all we can spare.
Galahads, I'm providing you with a confidential update on the fleet situation. During your last mission, General Taggart sent Admiral Merkin a message. The victory was successful in inserting the Templar strike team into the Kilra system. We have no idea of their progress, or if they're even still operative. However, it seems likely we have done our part in drawing as much attention onto ourselves as we can. We have successfully supported the Marines in their conquest of Freya too. There is still a considerable amount of Gilrathi presence there, but the planet belongs to us. We are going to need it for the next phase of our operation. I know you have all given your best today, but we each will be called upon to get even more. Take what little time we have now to get some rest and prepare to receive new orders. Dismiss. Yes, sir. Time is short and we have a lot of ground to cover. While we were successful in occupying Freya 2, our only real intention in taking the planet was to serve as a diversionary measure. Our real target in this operation is, and always has been, the Rotgar. In order to give the main fleet a chance to survive, we needed something that would serve as an appropriate lure to pull the Rotgar away from attacking our fleet. The strategic value of Freya 2 to the Kilrathi makes it the perfect bait. Intel has informed me that the Rotgar and her escorts have broken off from the main engagement and are heading this way, presumably to regain control of the planet. It is imperative that the Rotgar believes it's only going up against the planetary defenses the Marines have set up, which are considerable, but are not sufficient in and of themselves to take out the Dreadnought. To help the Kilrathi buy this particular deception, the Hermes and several other battle groups have sent their escorts to engagements in highly visible parts of the battlefield. This should lead the Kilrathi to believe that they are defending their respective carriers, which would be holding back somewhere in those regions. With that understanding of the tactical situation, the Rotgar and her escorts would logically close in to bombard the planet, entering deep enough into the planetary gravity well to allow for maximum damage with the drawback of making their withdrawal more difficult. And that Galahads is exactly where we want them. Aside from her considerable firepower and fighter complement, the Rotgar is the main command and control ship in this system. If we can neutralize her, we will throw the Kilrathi command structure into disarray, making it harder for them to coordinate their attack and causing confusion in their ranks. This psychological advantage may be exactly what we need to turn the tide of this battle. It's a bold move, perhaps even crazy, but it is the best shot we have. The carrier groups that are part of this operation have been holding their complements of Excaliburs and Longbows in reserve specifically for this moment. Our own longbows have taken losses in the action so far, but we still have enough to commit to the operation as well. As the Rotgar drops into position to bombard the marine fortifications, we will use the planet as cover to approach and strike. The strike forces will attack in waves. We will be the final attack wave. Let's make it happen, Galahads. Suit up and man your fighters. All right, folks. So, a bit of background history. Um, for those of you who have never played Wing Commander 3, the, um, well, there are two paths you can take in Wing Commander 3. You have the winning endgame and the losing endgame. In the winning endgame, you play as Colonel Christopher Blair, you drop the Templar bomb, you save the day. In the losing endgame, in the last mission, if you, the last mission of Wing Commander 3 in the losing endgame is a gauntlet, essentially. So, you fight hundreds of Kirathi ships. Well, maybe not hundreds due to the game's limitations at the time, but anyway. Um, every Wing Commander 3 fanboy's wet dream, as far as I know anyway, <laughs> has been to take down a Kilrathi Dreadnought. And I only know maybe like one, two, maybe several people have, take, have, have managed to take the Kilrathi Dreadnought down successfully in Wing Commander 3. This is the final mission of Wing Commander Saga, folks, and it ends with a, with satisfying that dream for everybody. So, our primary objective: destroy the KIS Rotgar. I don't know about you, but I'm really fucking excited. So let's get into it. Galahad, you are clear to launch. Saratoga, we've got incoming fighters and bombers. It's way 200 plus. We need lots of cap ships coming up behind them. Confirmed. Stand by for orders. 
Be advised. The carrier Vost is under heavy attack. We are taking hull damage. Request capital ship missile fire support from destroyer group Sierra Bravo Zulu. Sounds like the defecation really hit ventilation in the main front. <laughs> I don't envy them. Well, I don't envy us either, to tell the truth. Vampire! Vampire! We have a skipper missile decloaking at minimal range. All fighters intercept that skipper. Repeat, all fighters intercept. Uh-oh. It's too late! The skipper is impacted! Holy crap, the wasp is breaking up! All fighters, get clear of the blast zone! We're running out of time. Miss Sweeney, give us the picture. Here's the sit rep. All task forces are heavily engaged, with both sides taking heavy losses. We have multiple breaches on our line. Marine forces on Freya 2 report the Rathgar and her escorts are closing in. Airstrikes have already begun. The Lincoln Strike Group is less than one minute out from the Rathgar. You are to proceed with the planned nav route to mask your approach. Nav route confirmed. Galahaz, let's move. Proceed to next waypoint. Here we go, folks. Maybe they should have called this uh, strike group the pirate strike group because all of these ships begin with the letter R. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. Give me a bomber, give me a bomber. There we go. And you guys will notice that I have no Spiculum-IR missiles this time around. Uh, this time I have, um... Thank you. This time I have nothing but dart dumb fires. I'm gonna need them. <laughs> Bombers, nope, good. Alright, good, that's all of them. Thanks for the assistance. There's no rest for the weary. It seems we have another wave incoming, but they're our problem, not yours. You need to proceed on mission. You have your job, and we have ours. Alright. Good luck. To you as well. Hermes, request SIDREP before proceeding. The Invincible Strike Team is currently heavily engaged with the target. They report at least one escort destroyed. The situation is continuing to develop. Very well. Let's proceed, Galahads. Proceed to next waypoint. You know, Venom, I thought only fools relied on luck. Uh-oh. Get those cats off their backs, Galahads. All right, let's do it. It's like an escort of longbows, mostly. Uh... Uh, where are you at, 
boy. Thanks. Would you mind getting back here so I can thank you? That's the last of the little ankle biters. Far this is Venom. How did it go out there? Resistance was a lot tougher than anticipated. We hit that dreadnought with everything but the kitchen sink. It didn't slow her down one bit. Hmm. It was a massacre out there. The Rossi fighters everywhere. That thing's a monster. What is it, invincible? The guys are doomed, man. Doomed. They shot us down left and right. It's a suicide mission. A bloody suicide mission. Stop acting like you were kicking the teeth. Now we'll retreat in a dignified fashion. The most damaged ships will autopilot home. Those able to fight will hang back and form defensive formations here. One last thing. Don't expect any cap ship missile support. Those destroyers are all gone. Oh. Huh. Things are going just as planned, huh? You know, you have such a positive attitude. <laughs> it's one of his most endearing qualities. The Armageddon strike team should be arriving on the scene momentarily. We're going in right after them. Good luck, Galahads. You'll need it. Proceed to next waypoint. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, stealth fighters. Like just a few of them. Probably just intended to delay us. Swap the peasants and let's move on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. Yeah, great job, kid. I'm real impressed. Nice. Yeah, as I'm getting a laser link message from the Armageddon strike team. I'll relay it to the rest of you. I want you to hear this. All right. Venom, this is MD. I'll make this quick. We've taken out a swarm of fighters at several cap ships, and we managed to beat up the remaining escorts pretty good. Landed several good hits on the rock bar. Our shields are heavily damaged, but we haven't been able to do much more than that. Sounds like you did quite a bit better than the previous waves. Well, of course. What did you expect? How are you guys holding up? Bad. All our bombers are gone. Merlins and the rest are running low on fuel and high on damage. It won't last much longer. It's in your court now. We'll do what we can, but if the dreadnought is going down, you're going to have to be the ones to make it happen. Hmm. Roger. We'll make it count. Anything else? Yeah. I bet you'll get killed first. <laughs> ah, feelings mutual. Then I'm out. Well, sounds like we have a lot of cleanup work to do. <laughs> How considerate of them to leave me plenty of kills to add to my collection. Proceed to next waypoint. Well, let's go. There she is. Don't know if you guys can see her, but she's there in orbit. Tally ho, I've got a visual. I see one dreadnought and four escort capital ships. Jeez, no matter how many times I see one of those dreadnoughts, it still amazes me how big they are. Yeah. Venom to Ranger, what's your status? Over. Venom, we are up to our eyeballs in Kilrathi fighters and bombers down here. So far, we've been able to take them off the marine fortifications. What's the status of the missile launchers the marines are setting up? Last I heard, they were just about ready to go. We're working hard to keep them alive long enough to start firing. Sorry to interrupt, sirs, but we've got a large group of backbones trying to overrun the missile launchers. 
Ranger, we can really use some backup here. Kettle, get your squadron in there. I'll be right with you. Confirmed. We are moving to engage. Hmm. Venom, get to work. We'll keep up our side of the bargain. Roger. Good hunting, Ranger. Heads up. We've got fighters breaking from the rock car and heading our way. Galahad's time to divide and conquer. Alpha Wing, you're with me. Going to engage the fighters. Bravo and Charlie, you slip past the fighters and go after the Rodgar. Knock down her shield. Start going after the turrets. Ignore the escort ships for the time being. Alrighty. Let's do it then. Here we go, folks. Full power to guns. Let's go. No thanks, how about you? Ah, there you are. Hiding in the rock guard's tail. Yeah, Bye. Job, I'm real impressed. Uh, where are you at? There you are. All right, let's see if we can take this shields down on this thing. Well, they're almost out. Tells are coming in. Oh. 
another turret. You know, let me see if I can mop up some fighter kills first before I continue on with these turrets. That was awesome. Thank you. There goes one of the escorts. Guards under 79% strength. Uh, I really do love this mission, though. Everyone is coming together to make this happen. I mean, the people on the surface of Freya 2 and all the pilots from um, that are up here. Everyone from the Hermes is helping to make this happen. And the Marines, of course. <laughs> But it's just awesome to see everything come together. Nice. Thank you. And yes, at this point, um, Colonel Blair is probably tussling with uh, Admiral, uh, with, yeah, Admiral, Prince Thrakath right about now. If he isn't already on the surface of Kilra. Uh, oh, okay, you're hiding in the Rockgar's uh, tail. Goodbye. There goes another escort. There goes the last escort. Roger that. Doing our best. Airplane, Airplane. 
Thanks, Phalanx. Another one down. You don't mess with my fucking bombers, you asshole. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. Thanks. I'm gonna have to recharge my shields in a moment. Take this guy down. Uh-oh. Wait, what? The Hermes? Oh, right! That might be in their hangar bay. Okay, let me see. Let's see if we can do that. All right, I'm gonna say it's right here. Maybe not. Oh, I must be doing something right because apparently it is taking damage. Whether that's by me or by the other pilots, it's another story.
Uh, all right. Uh -oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this helps. No, nothing. Damn it. Oh, here comes the Hermes. Well, I guess it must have been inside the hangar bay. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Send this motherfucker. All right, I'm out of missiles. Her whole strength down to thirty percent. I've heard that one before. Chew on this. Alright, good. Is actually taking internal damage. You know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> Eighteen percent, she's almost done. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Come on. Go down to thirteen. Uh oh. Twelve. Eleven. Ten percent. She's almost down, guys. Roger that.
nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, five. Come on, come on, go down, four. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, come on, come on. One, that did it. Going on. There's a lot of activity going on with Kilrathi frequencies. I'm trying to decode it. They're transmitting an image. Is that what I think it is? It can't be. What is it? It's video footage of a planet exploding. <gasps> There's a huge fleet in orbit. It's being torn apart. I think. I think it's Kilrathi. Ah, they did it! So, Lancelot Light did it. Woohoo! What did you say, sir? Wait. Are you telling me Kilra has been destroyed? That's what it looked like to me. Oh, wait a minute. I'm showing life signs dropping on all the Kirathi capital ships in the area. It looks like the, a large percentage of the Kirathi are participating in mass suicide. What? The boys of psych warfare only said losing Kilra would shake them to the core. But this goes way beyond their predictions. Most of the ships are being set to self destruct. You're detonating their engines. Whoa. This is the Kilrathi. Not have far gone to the Terran carrier Hermes. Please cease all hostilities at once. We have already surrendered personally to the heart of the tiger, your Colonel Christopher Blair. He is here with us aboard the Havar Khan. We seek an audience with your government to make our surrender official. What? Our ships are lowering our shields and powering down our weapons. Captain, we are at your mercy. Holy shit. This is Captain Moran of the TCS Hermes. We accept your ceasefire request and we'll make contact with our government to set the location and conditions for formal surrender. I can't believe it. Is the war really over? It's over, Sandman. This whole operation was to cover a secret strike against Kilra by Lancelot Flight. We knew it was the only way to survive. We did our job, and they did theirs. We fucking did it. Incredible. I have no words to describe what I'm feeling right now. It's like witnessing a miracle. <laughs> Woohoo! We, we actually did it, guys. We won. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the bloody cats are right. After all they've done to us. How can you say that? I know this is war, but think of all the civilians we just killed. All the children. I'm glad we won, but it's just horrifying. Freedom is usually bought at a terrible price. This was the only way we could survive. They left us no other choice. I, I know that. I just... I don't know what I feel. I understand I that. I'll start with feeling thankful. The war is over. I'm alive. 
That's good enough for me, at least for now. <laughs> well, the bad news is that Ninja survived the war. So now I owe Ninja 100 credit. <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> you bet I wouldn't survive the war. <laughs> Get ready to pay up. I'm alive, 100 credits richer. Not a bad day. It's over. It's really over. What will we do now? We've spent so long fighting, I don't even know what life will be like at peace. We'll figure it out, Sandman. Just as long as we keep walking forward into the future. Hmm. We have confirmation. All Kilrathi forces have either stood down or terminated themselves. This is Captain Moran of the TCS Hermes of all Federation ships. Kilrathi have surrendered to us. Cease all hostilities at once and stand down. War is over. The long night of pain and bloodshed is finally past. The dawn of a new day is upon us. The moment for which so many have sacrificed their lives is finally here. Victory is ours. Galahads, let's go home. TCS Hermes, resting clear. We've taken a lot of damage, Galahads, and things are a mess here. Are you sure you don't want to route to another carrier? The Hermes is our home. We've all got to start to help with the rebuilding process. We're better to start that than from home. Hmm. Captain Markham, you're first in the shoot. Welcome back. Welcome home. And thank you all. We owe you more than we could ever repay. Mission complete. Mission complete. Well, folks, that's it. That's the end of Wing Commander Saga. Um. Well, what can we say? It was a great great fan tribute to one of the best science fi franchises of all time um <laughs> i don't even know what else to say a great a fitting end to a to an amazing game so um guys thanks so much for watching thanks for helping out and giving me feedback constructive criticism all of that thank you guys so much um i hope to see you all in the next lp i'll let the credits roll out of this so um if you like this video like, comment, and subscribe. If you really like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burningearthyfx. And I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone, and thanks again for watching. After four decades, the heroic sacrifices of many and the incredible action of one. It's finally come to this. The official treaty to end the Terran Kilrathi War, shown all around the universe for all to see. Admiral Tolwyn arriving. Treaty is signed. Fly by is a go. Repeat, fly by is a go. Copy that. Formation execute in three, two, one.
Vulture, this is Mallard. Team. Ooh, ooh, my goodness. Fly like a bunch of jive chickies. <laughs> if you like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burning earth the effects. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.